Hello, hello, my beautiful people. How are you doing in today's episode? It's gonna be raw and uncut, guys. We are actually in the street, in the street of the village, and I, I just joined this. Uh, how do you call it? This team. They are actually catching the flogs. And one thing about these people, they are, their eyesight, they are very, very sharp. They are pointing something. They are pointing the flocks. And they are going to chase the flocks and catch them. So I'm going to show you an experience how they chase the flock to catch them. So because this uh, video was done in the village, I try my best just to speak in English so I won't lose my international audience. You see, <laughs> I'm actually zooming this uh, camera or phone so they catch it. Let me just show you how they catch the thing. There you go. They actually caught it. At this point in time, uh, the young guy, that is my nephew actually, he's pointing a flog. He wanted to take the phone to zoom it for you guys so you will see where it is. But I just took the phone away from him. He's rough. I'm scared for him to drop my phone inside the water. So where he was pointing, they are running toward it. Just look the distance and where they are going to catch the flock, guys. Where they will stop is where the flock is and they are very fast. Before the flock moves, they already caught the flock. Just wait and see. You see? He caught it. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here they are showing me the eggs for the flocks. Those are the eggs, guys. And the strategy here, the flocks always come back to their eggs. And if you want to catch them, just notice where the egg is because they will come back to their eggs. That is one of the strategy, guys. So keep watching this video. I will, I will translate uh, as much as I can for my international <laughs> audience. So you follow i'll try my best the gum boots they are actually big that's why he's like kind of teeny he's not fitting well that's why he's not working properly so at this point where they are going they're actually just uh you see these flogs me they are not they are not good when you are at this side, they start like um, crying. Can I say crying? They make this sound. They start making this sound. Mm, 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 mm. And when you are at the other side, they are making sound. So for you to catch them, the thing is they make sound so you know where they are. But sometimes when you come to that place, they stop making sound. So here my guys and my beautiful ladies, I spotted the flogs, so I just wanted to zoom in so you know why those guys run toward the thing. So I'm going to tell them to make in small uh, motion. So she is going towards that flog and you guys saw it because I showed you. So she is going to catch the flog. So there she caught it. At this point in time, yeah. the next um, yeah. video clip that is coming, I actually saw a small snake and I just caught it on camera just like that. So if you guys uh, just be careful mm -hmm. when you are watching because you will see a small snake that was in the water. So it is coming soon. If you are scared, I don't know, but it's coming soon. So just know that you see it. There it comes. That's the full one. Oh, that's a cocaoka. 
<laughs> my, okay. my guys, my advice is when you are catching your frogs or fish, just remember there are these types of things in the water. So always wear that types of shoes and just be aware at all times. I really encourage the kids to really catch these things. Maybe adults or if they are catching, they must be catching. Oh, oh, And the funny thing is, these people spotted these guys, but life just continues. As if nothing mm. they continue to go in the water to catch the, the flocks. Mm. Mm. Yes, my advice still stand wear shoes like this if you if the kids go things. look what they are pooping the eggs those are the eggs the <laughs> the Yotiro Mayoka. This kid is not serious. I was just basically warning the kids not to go inside the water without the shoes. Look what we found. Here actually you you make a here actually let me just allow you to observe guys he's correcting the water to go clean the flocks they are just gonna remove the intestine and everything so i'll just allow you to observe the process so i don't think there is a need for me to explain so if you don't understand the language that we are speaking you can actually observe what she is doing so i don't think there will be a problem if you are watching and you do not uh, understand the language that you are speaking at this point in time she was basically saying the flocks doesn't die easily even if you put it in the pot it will be just be kicking so these are the oil effect of I'm going to show you the the heart. You see how it's beating. They say 
Mokele Before that mene. heart stop beating, the flog won't mm. die. Although you Mangina move the intestine, so long Mokele as the heart mene. is still beating, mene. that flog will still be alive. Ayo shi nami nginyo shakinja. Kondo ko Kenya ta di katara. Even Kandina knows we have friends in Kenya. Who do you know Kandina? Hey Kandina. My friend is Doko Kenya Jandi Tarushi Mori. You guys, you guys. <laughs> in this village, in this village, everybody knows Marwa man. In my village, actually, I like introducing uh, the YouTubers that uh, I watch, like uh, Kenyan YouTuber and a lot of Namibian YouTubers, just to, to share them out. So a big so shout out to Kaino Awala, Simple Mia, uh, Sonia, you change your name to it's a nice Sonia Chu. Mm. Yeah, Sonia Chu. <laughs> it's a nice condenta. Mm -hmm. So, Tony, you see? Oh, Valentina, you we are just going out. Nando ko hangri layo na ike. Pinch the frog in the nose. It will open its mouth. So I'm just trying to pinch it to open its mouth. Now we are trying to release the frogs. So because some of them they are very small. Maria, <laughs> Here I'm showing you the, the tongue. You see how long it is? Oh, this thing has a long tongue. Yo. Yo. Who here eat frogs? For me, I used to eat frogs, guys. But one day I got this infection. Where you want to pee, but you are not peeing. A lot of people that eat frogs, they know this experience. If they eat the wrong frogs, frogs when they don't like make that sound properly mm, mm, or i don't know where the infection come from but from that day when i got that infection i never ever ate frogs guys frogs if you guys you are here and you eat those let me know in the comment section and tell us your experience guys. how you did how you see those nice stuff but the frogs guys when you cook them they just look like they are 
they are fresh they don't change colors so basically you put them in the sun just for them to receive or to dry yeah to dry and here is uh, <laughs> so let's show you the process on how we prepare the frogs and this is a traditional way and we just use one match one match so yeah i hope you guys you enjoy this video if you do please do let me know if uh, i receive um, 100 view every time i upload the video in a day i might promise you that i will upload content back after back like back and forward but if I receive a small, small, small view, I might give up and just give myself time because I'm very busy. But I have a lot of content that I need to edit and show you guys. So if you are good to me, I'll be good to you guys. So let's be good to each other. Smash that <laughs> like button. If it's your first time to visit my YouTube channel, my name is Lina Kwambi. I'm in Namibia. <laughs> content creator i do lot of video about the village wedding and this year i will do more of traveling videos so i'm looking forward to more adventures with you guys as we travel international okay <laughs> Mama. We are dia ima ya ya pum. Aya. Kajesa ramu tamini pata.